G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's edition. A little bit of a different edition for you today, more of an ask me anything type of edition. Um, and I've received a number of questions via the YouTube channel uh, and today I am going to answer one of those. So the question is, I have a few pages with different kinds of content. Some are updates, other pages have training info, and yet other pages are called info sheets. In a document library, I added a column to identify the kind of content the pages have. So the column is called content type uh, with a number of choices. Is there a way to add a filter in a web part, say the highlighted content web part, to show only one type of content, for example, info sheets? So that's what we are going to take a look at today. How do we actually go about uh, creating that or solving that type of situation? So the first thing we're gonna do is set up our document library. And the number one thing or the first thing that we are going to do and a good practice is to create what we call a site column. Now a site column is a reusable column that you can use across multiple different document libraries in the same site. So that means that we can have a, uh, a specific library for info sheets and one for another type of content and one for training information. So, and then we can reuse that same column across multiple different libraries. Now we need to get into the site information and then into view all site settings and then under the web designer galleries, we've got this option here called site columns. So this is where we're gonna create our column. So we'll click on create and then we'll give this a uh, column name called document type. We'll use a choice column here and then we will create a new group and let's just call this my custom columns and you'd obviously name that a more meaningful name in production. Uh, and then we can enter in our choices, all right? So we've got updates, we've got info sheets, and we've got training information. Now let's click OK. So that's now created what we call a site column. We then need to add that column to our document library. So let's jump back into documents and then we can see that I've already uploaded a few documents here, but there's no other columns, right? So we'll jump into library settings and then we'll go into more library settings and notice that we're not just adding a column directly to the library here with that add column option. We're going to go into under the column settings here. We're going to go add from existing site columns. All right, and then under our group, there's my custom columns. I've got document type and I'll go and click OK. So now that's added that site column to our library. And if I jump back into documents, you'll see that that column has been added to the default view. I now can select my documents. I can then go to the properties or the information pane here, and then I can bulk edit these if I want to. So let's go info sheets, we'll hit save, and let's just set all the other ones as well. So we'll go, these two can be updates, and then the last two can be training info. All right, so we've got those two, that's now saved, and then let's just set the last two uh, for training info, and now, we're all set, all right? So we've now tagged our document types. Now let's create a page and I'll call it a topic page for info sheets. So let's jump back to the home page. I'll create a new page and then let's have a look at the highlighted content web part and how we can um, craft that to display what we want it to display. So I'll just choose a blank column, uh, sorry, a blank page and then Let's give this a title and let's call this information sheets. So this could be a page that has lots of different bits of information all about our information sheets, but we wanna also display those documents. So let's hit the plus button and let's choose the highlighted content web part. Now in the properties of this web part, we can then craft out the, or display certain types of documents and, and, and information. So the source here, now we wanna use a column in a document library. So instead of the source being this entire site, I want to choose a document library on this site. And it is the, doc, the, the library called documents and I do wanna pull back any type of document. Now this is where we can choose what documents out of that library we wanna display. So you can see that we've got a few different options. We've got title, includes the words, recently added, recently changed, created by, modified by, and this is the one that is going to give us what we want, the column name. So what I wanna do is I wanna find the column name that we call document type. And then you can see there that appears in the drop down. Now, if the document type 
equals info sheets, then I want to display those that information. You can see we've got equals doesn't equal begins with or contains. So I'm going to say equals uh, info sheets. All right, and what that's going to do is you can see that I've got three documents that dynamically appear in that web part. So that means I don't have to edit this web part. All I need to do is go to the document library, upload my info sheets, tag it as an info sheet, and then that will display in this web part. And let's now um, publish this page. All right, so we'll publish this page, and now we've got a little uh, carved out area here that is displaying our info sheets. Now we're not just limited to a single instance of this web part though. We can add multiple different web parts if we wanted to. So I might uh, hit the plus button and let's go add another highlighted content web part. So another instance, I'll change the source to a document library on this site. Uh, and again, we're going to choose the document library uh, and let's use the filter column name um, and we'll go document type again. So if you had different types of columns here as well, you could obviously choose different types. So the document type equals uh, updates. So if a document has been tagged with updates, you can see I've got two there. Let's just name these web parts so we know what we're looking at. And we'll go info sheets here, information sheets and then we'll publish that. So now we've got two highlighted content or instances of that same web part, the highlighted content web part that is pulling out anything that has been tagged with information sheets or anything that has been tagged with updates. So that is how you could have topic pages. So you've got a document library, you've got a column uh, that shows or allows you to choose from, from different options about the, the type of document that it is. And then you can create a page all around uh, that particular topic, use the highlighted content web part and only display the information or the documents out of that document library that have been tagged with that web part. Uh, with that value. Now, the beauty about using site columns is that you're not just limited to a single document library. So if I create a new document library in this same site, I can then reuse that same site column called document type. So if I go new document library, let's just call this um, more documents, all right? And we'll hit create. So that's a new, brand new document library, all right? Now what we want to do again is go into the site, uh, the, the, sorry, the library settings of this document library now. So I can go library settings and then more library settings and then under the column section down here, I want to add from an existing site column, all right? And again, I'll choose our custom group Oh, our custom column group, we'll go add and we'll go okay. And now we've got an additional document library in the same site that is using that same column, same values, so that we get a standardized approach to uh, tagging our documents in that case as well. And then we could use the highlighted content web part to then also now target this document library and show anything that's been tagged with those values as well, all right? So I hope that brings you some value today. A little bit of uh, AMA uh, with a question coming from the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm sure that will help um, more than one person. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.